everything you need to know about Dangote's refinery. Dangote Refinery is a 650,000 barrels per day integrated refinery and petrochemical projects under construction in the Lekki Free Zone near Lagos, Nigeria. It is expected to be Africa's biggest oil refinery and the world's biggest single train facility upon completion in 2022. Hello Displarers and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our new content. Now back to the Dangote's refinery. The refinery will process a variety of light and medium grades of crude oil to produce Euro 5 quality clean fuels including gasoline and diesel as well as jet fuel and polypropylene. Dangote Oil Refinery, a company owned by the Nigerian-based Dangote Group, is developing a project with an estimated investment of $19 billion. Nigeria's Federal Executive Council approved the acquisition of 20% minority stake in a project by state-owned Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation for $2.76 billion in August 2021. The integrated refinery and petrochemical project is expected to generate 9,500 direct and 25,000 indirect jobs. Project Gallery Dangote's refinery is significant for Nigeria. Estimated to hold 37 billion barrels of proven oil reserves, Nigeria is the second biggest oil-rich country in Africa after Libya. Nigeria is, however, dependent on imported refined fuel products due to lack of domestic refining capacity. The Dangote refinery will double Nigeria's refining capacity and help meet the increasing domestic fuel demand while generating foreign exchange through exports. Dangote oil refinery location and site details. The refinery complex is being developed on a 2.635 hectare site on the Lakey Free Zone near the Lakey Lagoon along the coast of the Atlantic Ocean. The geographical location of the refinery is ideal for easy transshipment of the refined products of petroleum to international markets. Dangote built a jetty near the project site to receive heavy equipment for the construction. Dangote Oil Refinery Design Details The Dangote Oil Refinery is designed to produce up to 50 million liters of gasoline and 15 million liters of diesel a day. The processing facilities at the refinery include a crude distillation unit and associated facilities, a mild hydro cracking unit, a residual fluid catalytic cracking unit, a naphtha hydro treater, and a gasoline hydro desulfurization unit as well as an alkylation unit. The refinery complex will also house sulfur recovery and hydrogen regeneration facilities and a polypropylene unit, comprising two steam methane reformer units the hydrogen generation facility will generate 200,000 nanometer cube of hydrogen and steam to produce sulfur-free fuels. Other processing units include the Stratco alkylation unit, the MECS sulfuric unit regeneration unit, the MECS Diana Wave sulfur recovery unit, and the Belco EDV fluid catalytic cracking unit. Production. The Dangote refinery is expected to produce 10.4 million tons of gasoline, 4.6 million tons of diesel, and 4 million tons of jet fuel a year. It will also produce 0.69 million tons of polypropylene, 0.24 million tons of propane, 32,000 tons of sulfur, and 0.5 million tons of carbon black feed a year. Infrastructure facilities The infrastructure facilities include a pipeline system, access roads, tank storage facilities, and crude and product handling facilities. A marine terminal, including a breakwater, jetty and harbour, has also been developed as part of the project. Other facilities developed to support the project include an administrative building, guard houses, fire station and pump stations. Furthermore, the refinery complex will house a fertilizer unit, which will utilize the refinery byproducts as raw materials. Financing for Dangote Refinery A group of local international banks led by Standard Chartered Bank had agreed to provide a $3.3 billion syndicated loan facility for the project. The United States Trade and Development Agency is providing a $0.997 million training grant for the human resource development for the refinery operation. Contractors involved Engineers India is the engineering, procurement and construction contractor for the project. Honeywell UOP was contracted to supply catalyst regeneration and dryer regeneration control systems column trays, heat exchanger tubes, a modular CCR unit, and catalyst coolers, among other equipment. CNI Leasing was contracted to provide transportation and installation services for mooring systems and subsea pipelines of the refinery. Hang Xiao Steel Structure Company received a $112 million contract to provide steel structure for the refinery. Jan De Nul Group was engaged for carrying out land reclamation works. Man Diesel and Tubo was constructed to supply two compressor trains, 
while Air Liquid Engineering and Construction was contracted for supplying the SMR units. Souza Shemchek, a fluid engineering company based in Switzerland, was contracted to supply column internals, packings and trays for the Nagoti refinery in July 2020. Hyundai Heavy Industries, a company based in South Korea, received an order worth $58 million to build 15 liquefied petroleum gas tanks for the refinery project in April 2018. Mamwet, a Dutch heavy lifting and transport company, was contracted to provide heavy lifting and transport solutions for the project in January 2018. Fabtech, Schneider Electric, and Wabak are the other suppliers involved in the Dangote refinery project. Aliko Dangote and Akimwi Adezina, the chief of the African Development Bank, both toured the Nigerian Greenfield crude oil refinery. Dangote announced the plants will begin operations by the third quarter of 2022. The plant, which is located in Lagos, is hoped to be a game changer that will spur Africa's development and deepen regional integration. The production will have at first a processing capacity of 540,000 barrels a day and is expected to reach full capacity by the end of the year, early 2023. By 2023, this output should enable Nigeria to break free from the import of petroleum oil products. A good news for the leading oil producer on the continent, which has faced several oil shortages. African Development Bank President Akinwumi Adezina has described the Dangote oil refinery and petrochemical plant projects as a game-changing initiative, urging every African country to help the continent's industrialization. Aliko Dangote is Africa's richest man, according to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index. In 2014, the African Development Bank's board approved a $300 million loan to Dangote Industries Limited to support the construction and operation of the plant. The pipeline infrastructure at the Dangote Petroleum Refinery is the largest anywhere in the world, with 1,100 kilometers to handle 3 billion standard cubic foot of gas per day. The refinery alone has a 400 megawatt power plant that is able to meet the total power requirement of Ibadan Disco. The refinery will meet 100% of the Nigerian requirement of all refined products and also have a surplus of each of these products for exports. Dangote Petroleum Refinery is a multi-billion dollar project that will create a market for $11 billion per annum of Nigerian crude oil. It is designed to process Nigerian crude with the ability to also process other crudes. There you have it explorers, everything you need to know about the Nagotis refinery. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and share with a friend.